Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make simple models for academic papers using Blender. In this tutorial, we're going to use a simple supply and demand model so that you get familiar with the different tools in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so go to File, New, and let's go to 2D Animation. And then we can turn off Tablet Pressure for the strength, because we won't be needing that right now. And let's set the strength to 1. And let's set the radius to 12. And then next we're going to add a line. So let's select the line. And I'm going to use the pencil for uh, this tutorial. Okay, so let's uh, drag it. And hold in shift for a 90 degree line. And then uh, press enter or the middle mouse button. And then let's create another one for the x-axis. And then we need to create some arrows. So just drag, then press the middle mouse button or enter to confirm. And then I'm going to create an arrow for the z-axis as well. So just drag and drag and middle mouse button. Okay, so now that we have the axis, we can uh, add the curves. So I'm going to decrease the uh, radius of the pencil and then add the first curve. So let's uh, drag it from here. And then we can edit the curve. So I'm just going to drag it in this direction. This is just a basic demand curve in economics. And then I'm going to add another curve. And then once again, I'm going to bend the uh, curve. If you want even more complexity, you can just go into sculpt mode and sculpt the uh, curve. Okay, so let's go into edit mode and duplicate this uh, supply curve. So press shift D to duplicate. And then I'm going to set it around here. Okay, so now we have some basic supply and demand curves. So next, I'm going to add some fill to the model, which is the uh, dead weight loss in the uh, supply and demand model. So uh, let's uh, add a new material. Click new. And this one is going to be blue. So first we need to add a line. So I'm just going to call this one blue line. And next we need to add a material for the fill. So uh, let's call this blue fill. And then enable a stroke, copy the color from the first material, and then enable fill, and then paste the color into the uh, second material. And then let's add the line first, so that we can add some fill later. So go to line, then set the radius to 1. And then drag and hold in shift. Okay. And then I'll use the middle mouse button to confirm. And then use the blue fill and uh, select the uh, fill option. Then I'll set the thickness to 1 and then add the fill. Okay, so now we have the dead weight loss in the model. So let's save before we continue. So I'm just going to call it tutorial. And then the next step of the tutorial is to add the equilibria. So uh, let's select the black dots material and then line. And then I'll set the radius to uh, 10. And then drag and hold in shift to lock it to the x-axis and then use the scroll wheel to add additional dots and then you can press f to increase or decrease the radius of the uh, dots so uh, something like this looks nice 
and then we can add it for uh, this equilibrium as well. So uh, drag, and then hold and shift to lock it to the x-axis, and then use the scroll wheel once again to add additional dots. Okay, so let's uh, add some uh, dots at the lower part of the deadweight loss as well. And then use the mouse wheel to add additional dots. And then next, we need to add some dots for the uh, z-axis. So uh, drag. And then use the mouse wheel to add additional dots once again. And then enter or middle mouse button to confirm. And then drag, hold and shift to lock it to the uh, z-axis. And then enter slash middle mouse button to confirm. Okay, so let's uh, save before we continue. Let's go to file, save as, click on the plus sign, and then save. And then we need to add some text. So let's go into object mode. And then press shift A. And then add text. And then press R, X, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and then press tab then backspace and then I'm just going to type Q and add a material and I'm going to add a diffuse material and make the text black and then I'm going to change the font so go into font and then click on the folder icon and select a font that you like. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the Himalaya font. And then open font. And then press G to grab. And S to scale. So I'll set it around here. And this is the quantity in the model. Q for quantity, and then press N, and I'm going to lock the camera to view, so that you can move the camera around. Okay, so this should be fine, and then press Shift D to uh, duplicate, and then press Tab to go into edit mode, and then backspace, and I'm going to press P for price, and then duplicate once again, and this will be the demand, so D for demand. And then Shift D once again. I'm going to uh, change this to Supply, so S for Supply, and then Shift D once again, and S plus T, which is the tax, which is why we get the dead weight loss. And then I'm going to uh, create a new save, and I think this looks nice. So let's select the camera, and I'm going to set the uh, type to Orthographic which makes this uh, truly two-dimensional, which we want for a two-dimensional model. And then I'm going to go to the output settings. And then I'll do a, a squared render. So let's set the resolution to 3000 times 3000, for example. And for the output, we're going to change the file format from PNG to JPEG which has a smaller file size. And then in the camera settings, I'm going to change the orthographic scale. And then I'm just going to move the camera slightly so that we get the model in the middle of the camera. And before we render, let's just do a save. So click on the plus sign and then save. And then I'm also going to scale down these letters. So go to individual origins and I'll press S to scale if you want to change the size of uh, these letters. I'm also going to move the letters slightly, something like this, and move the demand closer to the curve. And then this is the result of the render. And as you can see, it uh, renders very quick because this is EV. So you can save the image and then export it to your document. 
And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.